I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Here are seven questions based on trigonometric equations. We are going to see how do we solve them within a given domain, which is 0 to 2 pi. Now, these are very important questions for students taking pre-calculus. Trigonometry, as you know, is a very important part of calculus. You can always pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. Our approach is going to be review all the basic concepts as we move from a very simple equation to slightly complicated one, as seen here. Let's begin with question number one now. Question number one is, cosecant x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, rearrange, so we get cosecant x is equal to 2. Cosecant is reciprocal of what? It is reciprocal of sine, right? So, therefore, sine x should be equal to 1 over 2. Now, we are looking into the domain 0 to 2 pi, correct? That means I am expecting two solutions for sine x equals to 2. One in quadrant 1 and the other one in quadrant 2. Simply because, you know, cast rule, right? So, these are easy things to remember, cast rule. Sine is positive in quadrant 1 and 2. Now, what is the value of x for sine x equals to half? For that, let's look into this special triangle. And this triangle will be used every now and then. So, the angles being pi by 3, pi by 6, and pi by 2. Sides, as you know, should be what? 1, 2, and square root 3. So, sine is half. That means we are looking into the sides from pi by 6 side, right? The opposite being 1, height 2 hypotenuse 2. So, that gives you two solutions and that is x is equal to pi by 6 which is in quadrant 1, right? And then x is equals to 5 pi by 6. Is that clear to you? That is how we are going to solve the first question. Let us move on to the second now which is cotangent x plus 1 equals to 0. Take 1 to the other side cotangent x is equal to minus 1, cotangent being reciprocal of tan, so tan x is equal to reciprocal of minus 1 is minus 1. So, negative value for tan means we are looking into two solutions once again, but these two solutions are in quadrant 2 and 4, right? And the angle being, well, x should be equal to pi by 4 gives you 1, right? So, 3 pi by 4, right? And 7 pi by 4, clear? So, x is 3 pi by 4 and 7 pi by 4. You can look into this special triangle, which is pi by 4, pi by 4, pi by 2 to get this solution. Or you can check with the unit circle, right? So, that is also possible. So, both are your options. But all these answers will be exact values. Question number 3. It is 3 cosecant square x minus 4 equals to 0. Taking 4 to the other side, 3 cosecant square x is equal to 4. Dividing by 3, we get cosecant square x is equal to 4 over 3. And square root cosecant x is equal to plus minus. So, whenever you do square root, do plus and minus, square root of 4 over 3. And that gives you the value of cosecant x. Then what is going to be sin x? So, sin x will be equal to plus minus 3 over 4. Square root of 3, right? And square root of 4 is 2. So, let me rewrite this as 2. Now, to find the exact value of this solution, once again, 
we are looking into this special triangle. So the idea is draw this special triangle so that you know how to use it again and again, right? So it should be always there on one corner of your paper. The sides, as you know, will be 1, square root 3, and 2. We are looking for square root 3 over 2 for sine, so the angle should be pi by 3. And also, plus and minus means all four quadrants, right? So, all four quadrants, let's uh, rearrange and visualize. So, we have this solution kind of like this, all four quadrants, because it is plus and minus pi by 3, right? So, pi by 3, 2 pi by 3. 4 pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3 are the four solutions. So we can write x equals to pi by 3, 2 pi by 3, 4 pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3. Make sense? Right? That is how you are going to solve it. Question number 4. So I hope you are there with me. No problems. Correct? In case you want to learn from me directly, send an email on the address given. Now we are getting into second level of questions where some other techniques will be utilized like factoring in this case. So we have cosecant x secant x equals to 2 cosecant x. A word of caution, do not cancel cosecant x, okay? Bring it to the left side. So we have cosecant x secant x minus 2 cosecant x equals to 0. Now you can factor out cosecant x, correct? And you get what? You get secant x minus 2 equals to 0. That means either cosecant x equals to 0 or secant x equals to 2. Now as you know, cosecant x cannot be 0, right? So we have no solution for cosecant x being 0. However, we have a couple of solutions here. Secant x equals to 2 means cos x equals to half, right? Now, cos x equals to half again reminds me of this special triangle. Once again, 1, 2, square root 3, right? And we are looking for cos adjacent side. So, pi by 3 is the solution. So, that is the related acute angle, perfect? And therefore, the solution should be cos being positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 4, correct? So, there you go. So, we have one solution which is pi by 3 and the other one which is, because this is 6 pi by 3, right? So, it is 5 pi by 3, one less. And those are the two solutions. So, we can write this as pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3 as the value of x. Clear? So I hope all these steps are absolutely clear. Here is your question number 5. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question. So this is quadratic equation, right? 2 sine square x. Quadratic equation in trigonometry. Sine x minus 1 equals to 0. You can factor this, product being 2 and sum being 1. So, you could split sin x into two terms and then factor. You could write this as 2 sin x minus sin x. Minus 1 equals to 0. In the first two terms, 2 sin x is common and we get sin x plus 1. And taking minus common, we do get sin x plus 1. Here also, equals to 0. Now, sin x plus 1 is common. And here we get 2 sin x minus 1 equals to 0. So, that means we are looking for sin x equal to minus 1 or sin x equal to half. That will give you 0 and satisfy the equation. So, when is sin x minus 1? So, it's good to look at the sine curve itself. Right, let's learn that also. And it is minus 1 clearly for angle 3 pi by 2. So, here we have x equals to 3 pi by 2. 
and half as we have seen with the special triangle, right? 1, 2, the angle being pi by 6, right? So, so if you look into the coordinate plane, we have this angle pi by 6 here and in coordinate 2. So, we have this solution as pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6. So, that gives you all the values of x which are 3 pi by 2, pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6. Perfect. So, I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Now, you have understood all the techniques required. I will now like you to solve question number 6 which is quadratic equation secant and question number 7 which is combination of secant and tan. And then we'll again look into their solutions. Thank you. Which is secant to the power of 4x minus 3 sine square x minus 4 equals to 0. So let's rewrite the equation. It is secant to the power of 4x minus 3 secant square x minus 4 equals to 0. Now we can actually factor this, right? Let me do a substitution to make it simpler. So, we'll substitute secant square x as equal to, let's say, y. In that case, secant to the power of 4x will be y square, correct? Substituting, we get y square minus 3y minus 4 equals to 0. Now, we can factor this using product and sum product being minus 4 and sum being minus 3. So, we could factor as y minus 4 times y plus 1 equals to 0. So, that is how we could factor and that really means that the solution is y equals to 4 and y equals to minus 1. So, these are the solutions. Since we know what y is, y is secant square x. So, we can write here that secant square x equals to 4 and secant square x is equal to minus 1. Well, square cannot be negative and so no solution for the second part. However, secant square x equals to 4 has solutions, right? So, let's continue with that part which is like secant x is equal to plus minus square root of 4, right? So, we'll see what are the solutions for this equation on the right hand side, let me rewrite secant square x as equal to plus minus 2. Now, if secant, I mean secant x is plus minus 2. So, if secant x is plus minus 2, that means what is cosine x? It is reciprocal of secant, right? It is plus minus half. We can look into this special triangle which gives us the solution, right? sides being 1, 2, square root 3. We are looking for half cosine, that means pi by 6 is the angle of interest. Plus and minus means all four quadrants, correct? So, we have four solutions, pi by, sorry, cosecant x equals to plus minus half. So, to find x, let's look into the special triangle, which is pi by 3, pi by 2, pi by 6, right? The sides, as you know, are 1, square root 3, and 2. Cosecant x is plus minus half. That means we are looking into pi by 3. Now, plus and minus means we have four quadrants, right? In all the four quadrants, we have the solution. So, pi by 3 means the situation is kind of like this, right? And the solutions are, as you know, pi by 3, 2 pi by 3, 4 pi by 3, and 5 pi by 3, correct? So, that is how we get the solution for this one. So, x is equal to pi by 3, 2 pi by 3, 4 pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3. Perfect. 
So I hope the solution of question number six is absolutely clear. Now, question number seven, which is also a quadratic equation. This equation is two secant square x plus tan square x minus three equals to zero. Let's factor product and sum b two times minus three. But you cannot, right? What do you have to do? You have to write it in one trigonometric ratio. Perfect. As you know, what is 1 plus tan square x? Well, 1 plus tan square x is secant square x. So we can replace secant with 1 plus tan square. So we can write this as 2 times 1 plus tan square x. Plus tan square x, right? Minus 3 equals to 0. Open the bracket. 2 plus 2 tan square x plus tan square x minus 3 equals to 0. Now, 2 tan square x and tan square x is 3 tan square x and 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So that means tan square x is equal to 1 over 3 or I could now write this as tan x equals to plus minus square root of 1 over 3, right? So, tan x is plus minus 1 over square root 3. It really means we are looking at which angle? Let's draw our special triangle once again. So, in this triangle, square root 3 and one of these sides. 1 over means we are looking from pi by 6 side, correct? So, x is equal to pi by 6 in all the four quadrants, right? Let's be very clear. So, we have the solution as this, correct? So, x equals to pi by 6. Then we have 5 pi by 6. And then we have 7 pi by 6. And then we have 11 pi by 6. So these are the four solutions for the given equation. Perfect. So with that, we have solved both these equations, quadratic in nature. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.